you doing, man? Oh, tell you why, uh, in this little video here, I was trying to figure out if the auxiliary switch had anything attached to it. It doesn't. So, but I'm going to show you what it's about. Oh, listen to this. So, anyways. I have an auxiliary switch here. Get this out of the way right now. Right there. And I've had the bike a couple of years. And I'm thinking lately about putting some uh, road lamps. Just going to maybe mount them down here somewhere. But before I could do that, I needed to know if the... Um, auxiliary switch outlet was working so here it is so the auxiliary switch controls this for any kind of things you want to add so I just had to pull the end off it and test it make sure that it was no problem with the switch or the power so and that worked that worked out fine so and something else that I wanted to share with you I don't know if anybody's ever been through this or not but I'm at that point where anything over an hour I start needing my backrest so uh, I had an issue with the damn thing. I was always fighting with it. So. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Uh, it takes two hands for this damn thing. So, here, we'll just put you here for a minute. Okay, so this is the backrest that I picked up and I was it, it had right here had little knobs little nibs or whatever you want to call them right and I could never squeeze this damn thing and get it in there I was fighting with it all the time see it goes in there and then it's supposed to lock in here one of these holes for different heights and it's all bitch never quite get it I just it wasn't worth it it's just so aggravating I didn't want to leave it in all the time because I didn't need it in all the time but fighting to get it in and get it out I just got too frustrating so I thought screw it I grind it off the ends right there so now slides in it stays now I don't play around with it I don't need any different heights I just need it the one height so and then out bam so it's that easy now and I went through all that shit for almost a year till I got to the point I just said okay you know what I got a good deal on it at the at the Thund at Windsor Chopper right about one third the price of a new one and I'm just going to cut those knobs off you know those little nibs fighting with them just wasn't worth it so now like I said no problem putting it in, taking it out. And I use it more often now than I did. So, anyways, just wanted to share that. Anybody has one of these? It's just too aggravating trying to set it in, you know. So, for me, anyways. I did that, and now no problems. And like I said, I don't need to adjust the different heights. It's just the one height it works perfectly for me, so... And now that I know that this outlet is live, if I hit the switch, then I'm looking at putting on, like I said, some road lamps. They'll go low and just shine directly on the highway right in front of me. So aim it downward so it doesn't interfere with any oncoming traffic. I don't want to blind anybody coming at me. <laughs> that's all I need. Yeah. So that's about all. I just wanted to show that. And... Uh, yeah, little tip for anybody has that um, 
that back seat backrest for the driver. If you're having a hard time with it, just do what I did. Just grind the mat. Leave the spring on it though. Otherwise it won't um, it won't stay in between the, the little slot here. A little slot here. So works great. Love it. Yeah, okay. Until again later.